Hello and welcome to the British Columbia Real Estate Association's housing market update for January 2019. BC home sales fell by nearly 25% to 78,300 units in 2018 compared to the near record 103,800 unit sales in 2017. Last year's performance was below the 10 year average of about 85,000 units. The B20 stress test was the prime culprit for the decline as the policy reduced the purchasing power of many home buyers by as much as 20%. Home sales across the province in December were down 39% to 3,500 units compared to December of 2017. On a seasonally adjusted basis, BC home sales declined about 4% from November as households continued to grapple with the sharp decline in affordability caused by the B20 mortgage stress test. Total active listings in the market in November were up 31% from the same month last year, to 27,600 units. However, as mentioned last month, active listings were at their lowest level in more than 15 years just 12 months ago. Most BC markets were exhibiting balanced conditions last month, while in Vancouver, buyer's market conditions were observed. However, market conditions can vary significantly between individual neighborhoods and communities, so contact your local realtor to identify market conditions in your area. The MLS average price in BC was down 5.2% on a year-over-year -year basis in December to $695,600. The annual average residential price in the province in 2018 was essentially unchanged, albeit up $2,900 or 0.4% to $712,500. However, caution should be used when comparing the provincial aggregate average price as the measure is easily skewed by regional variations in demand and product type. Meanwhile, on a year-over-year -year basis, the MLS Home Price Composite Index, the price for a typical home declined by 2.7% in Vancouver, increasing 2.5% in the Fraser Valley, 6.5% in Victoria, and 11% on Vancouver Island. Now let's take a look at market conditions around the province. Well, that's it for this month's housing market update. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.